Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Seraph's Last Stand. This was recommended by one of my commenters. Thank you very much. I always enjoy the, the random recommends that I get um, and they're generally on point. You know, y'all never miss. So um, this one, this, is, this looks really interesting. It kind of, I know I've been saying this a lot lately, um, but it kind of reminds me of Vampire Survivors. Listen, I know every, every, basically every recent arcadey roguelike uh, or roguelite, sorry, has been compared to Vampire Survivors. And I think that it's because um, we're maybe straying a little bit away from um, hardcore roguelike-ish games and more like um, arcade games with just, you know, replayability and progression. Like, arcade games, for the most part, um, they, they haven't really been in fashion for a long time because they get stale very quickly. Um, Unkilled enemies release six weaker projectiles in random directions. New common items. White you pick up are more effective, more health. Calls six thunderbolts from the skies every few seconds. Sure. Um, I think that I think that arcade games can get quite stale for people pretty quickly because <clears throat> what what is the re replayability of arcade games? Um, you know, getting farther, getting a higher score, uh, and then and that's and that's it. Kinda is that it? Um, I, I think that there's maybe probably more that I'm missing and I'm not being very kind to the arcade games I mean they they deserve their their stake in video game history. Of course, let's have some more uh, movement speed but um, You know you, you, you people want more they want some more uh, and, and more reasons to play the game again because other than just you know uh, trying to trying to improve your your score trying to improve your your skill on the game and you know like obviously there's there's something to be said there so that's where the roguelite <clears throat> kind of model comes in which wait for every meter you run one explosive projectile is launched upwards interesting sure that with the uh, movement speed might be nice where um, basically the novelty comes in uh, with the progression, with the, the power-ups you get, and with also combining certain abilities. And hopefully also, and you know, this is true for uh, vampire survivors in the juice. You know, like, uh, I think that something that is maybe not said enough is that what makes some of these games really compelling, um, yeah, after taking damage, projectile takes, let's do luck. Um, <clears throat> something that's not said enough is that uh, the novelty of a lot of these games comes in the execution of the art, the sound design, uh, and just like the, the 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 good feeling you get from you know open the the shiny chest and and the you know get get the gold and get the power ups and like it's a lot of it relies on releases six projectiles on um, kind of a um, I don't know like a a just a, a more primal feeling I like a, it's it really is just like the in you know the nice dopamine effect you get when uh, a, a cool sound effect you get a cool sound effect or you get, or you open up a prize or you get a little bit of a gotcha um, let's do more fragmentation maybe or you discover a cool mechanic I mean that's a bit more mechanical but um, I you know that's that I guess that's not really what I'm talking about I'm talking about I'm talking about graphics you know I'm talking about graphics and music as well like that's honestly kind of part of that juice i was thinking the other day about um what a effective sense of juice hexagon had hexagon had such a effective form of of sort of enticing the player to continue playing because it just had a really really good soundtrack and that cr soundtrack let's get some more health um, that soundtrack was like so so good, but like also um, the longer you stayed alive, the more of that soundtrack you'd get to hear. And that was just such an effective way of getting the player to to want to keep playing. It didn't really even have a lot of like progression in terms of like offering new mechanics for the player to to uh, to either to use uh, incentive. Your body deals 40 damage on contact, six thunderbolts from the sky every few seconds. Life steal. We could do with a bit of uh, recovery because I'm not doing so good right now for health. I really could use some more uh, damage actually. Nice, okay. We don't have a lot of damage, but we do have a lot of um, kind of 
re redemption damage. Projectiles take one plus one hit before exploding. Okay, let's let's go for that. Like we're we're doing we're doing a lot of projectile damage post death. Uh, I don't know if we took damage. We 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 do have more health than we had before, so that's that's good. That's that's a good sign. We just need to focus on one, and as soon as we kill one enemy, all of the rest of them will fall. More projectile damage. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. Nice. That's that's much better. We're doing almost double the damage we were a, a few seconds ago. We, You know what we need now is more attack speed. Nice. Uh, more defense. Projectile takes plus one hit before exploding. Sure. I don't know if like are the is the is the landscape changing at all? I don't feel like it is. We still ha we just have these like little bit of steps that we're jumping around, and yet it's it's providing a pretty effective arena. A few seconds. Let's do more stability. I feel like that is basically increasing or improving our um, our damage in a way. Oh, we're we're getting hit hammered with a bunch of enemies now. <clears throat> I should mention that this game is basically a dollar. Summon a wisp that inherits half your attack damage and speed. Fragmentation. Oh, I mean we're doing a lot with fragmentation. So let's let's improve fragmentation. Oh, we have new enemies. Nice. I haven't really been making use of the uh, meteor. I wonder if we can kind of exploit it by moving back and forth. Yeah, we can a little bit. Um. If under 50% health raises your projectile and body damage, that's not good because it, it kind of, um, I don't know what the opposite of synergy is, but basically uh, is is um, nullified a little bit by our, our leech because we're always going to be uh, getting health. But I mean, you know, that might not always be the case. We did get some attack speed there, which is exactly what I was saying we need. Ah, oh, yes. Nice. I'm a little bit worried about how much damage we're gonna take if we get hit by one of these uh, projectiles. I did not mean to take that. I kind of wish uh, maybe there was a bit more warning when uh, the, the upgrade menu popped up. Like instead of just instantly flashing like over the screen, it maybe kind of like faded in just a half second. That would be enough. Um, Cataclysm projectile damage, yes. Yeah, let's let's do that. So this is this is really cool. Honestly, I'm enjoying like trying to like improve our, our synergies, improve our, our projectile shots. I think maybe I won't do any more clicking because that will help me not take uh, like accidentally uh, take a, an ability. Oh, that was a nice cascade right there. Um, I, I'm gonna continue. Ooh. Ram Destroyer. Fragmentation projectile decay less, except. Oh, so we improved we improved the fragmentation so much that it became a super version. So th this is, it, honestly, I don't mind if every game takes this mechanic and runs with it because it's super satisfying every time. I love getting like a super version of, of like a power up because it's just like, it's so satisfying and it like, I don't need I don't need like more super difficult games. You can always throw more enemies at me, but what I you know what's really satisfying is getting just a ridiculously like powerful combo that just feels it feels so so good to get something like that. Okay, so we took our first projectile of those and it did knock out like half of not half of our health but a third. So we can't really take too many of those. Um, we'll continue getting projectile damage. I wonder if we can get more fragmentation or if that's kind of it. I also wonder if we can upgrade some project, uh, some, some upgrades. Sorry, not upgrade. Uh, if we can unlock some upgrades. More catalyst. Oh, oh, attack speed plus 24%. Yes. That was, that was a hundred percent what we wanted. Oh, there is no way we were going to make it out of that unscathed. Oof. Oh, we took we took quite a bit of damage there. Um, attack speed improved. Movement speed improved. Let's do attack speed. Wow. Okay, so the fragmentation was actually left from over from the previous 
bout and then ended up killing more enemies. That's really fun. Yeah. Pac-Man. Every time your projectile passes through an enemy projectile, it gets more powerful. Ooh. Oh, we got some soul orbs too. Thunderbolt. Yeah, I think we want to... I want to improve our Thunderbolt. Oh, that was almost death right there. Ma max HP. Ba regenerate. Let's do regenerates HP based on the number of enemies alive. We need more regeneration. I also just like need to focus on like a enemy to get the fractals off. Oh, these guys are really tanky. Maybe I need to like not focus these guys because they, they, they take a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was bad. Oh, died. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. So we could maybe improve these if we get enough soul orbs. Uh, ooh, projectile size. I didn't see that last time. But we want to focus on uh, damage so that our Will of the Wisp also gets damage. I can't help it. I still kind of want fragmentation. But I also want to see like the super version of some of these other uh, cool things. Uh, we definitely want Leech. Although we could try Rage. I didn't take Rage last time because we got Leech. So it might be that here I'm gonna I'm gonna deliberately bump us down to less than half health so that we start getting extra damage. Yeah, I need uh, maybe if I could get a shield because there were a couple of shield power ups. We really need to get some a little bit of recovery because right now having none is is a problem. Um, if I could get a shield, then it would help a lot based on the number of enemies alive. Um, let's take luck. I'm gonna I'm gonna go really hard on, on this one. Charge. Oh, extra projectile size makes you smaller. That's interesting. Uh, raises your projectile and body damage accordingly up to fifty percent. Yeah, let's take more rage. That basically effectively just improved our damage by quite a lot. Good enemies have a. Yeah, let's uh, let's get orb. That'll at least give me a bit more control. Instead of having Leech, where we have no control, and Regeneration, which again gives us no control, we can drop some healing orbs on the on the map. So that we can have just a little bit of recovery, you know? As a treat. Oh, we almost died there. So now we're not above, or uh, sorry, below 50% chance. So I'll take a little bit of damage. We'll take, we'll get some more Catalyst. Oh, there's a Soul Orb. I really need stability. The enemy projectiles are so much now that I, I actually can't reach the enemy sometimes. I think that defense is doing a lot more than you would think. I, I kind of miss fragmentation. I know I'm trying new things and uh, you know maybe it'll it'll pay out in the end, but uh, right now it, it kind of hurts. Uh, I did say I wanted stability, didn't I? I'm gonna go with luck. I I, I want to I want to get some like really cool powers. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit uh, under under performing right now. This this doesn't feel uh, like I've got I've got the chops to take on what is to come. Mm, we'll take catalyst. Where are, where are our will of the wisps? Um yeah, let's take bigger chance. We're getting up there with those with those bigger chances. We have we have five now. Or sorry, four of them. Gotta, you gotta prioritize those moving ones because they're the ones that are forcing you to move a lot more than you really want to. You wanna take very slow movements so that you can better avoid a majority of the projectiles. We almost died there. I mean, it gets pretty good. It does get pretty good, but you really gotta sit there and, and go for it. New common items white you pick up are 35% more effective. Oh, there's another Will-o'-the-wisp. 
I gotta, I gotta go with the, the Will of the Wisp. And also, the nice thing about the Will of the Wisp is that they're not exactly synced. They're synced to my movement, but not really to me. So it means I get an extra angle on the, on some enemies I wouldn't normally. And like considering uh, the enemy projectiles are like hard blocking our projectiles, that can actually make a big difference. Oh, uh, this could, yeah, that was it. Yeah, that run was not as good. All right. Oh, that's going to do it um, for Seraph of the End. Seraph's Last Stand. Um, this game is really cool. I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. Um, I honestly might even play a bit more of this on uh, stream. You'll probably see that. Um, <laughs> Tuesday, 12 p.m. EST. Not to show myself uh, completely shamelessly. But anyway, this is a, this is a really cool game. I enjoyed it a lot. Seraph's Last Stand. If you did enjoy this, uh, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.